Welcome to the Fremont Group. My name is Dirk Dieters. This webinar is the last of 2020 uh, in our Minding My Own Business workshop series. It's titled Danger in the Comfort Zone, and it's a year-end challenge to our clients and all small business owners to take a look forward instead of a look backwards. 2020 is now in the books. Maybe it was a good year, maybe it was an okay year, and maybe it was a bad year. Regardless of what kind of year it was, it's time to move on. In moving on and moving forward, there's two ways that we deal with our clients in their planning. And it depends a bit on the stage that they're in. Because of the way 2020 happened, we're going to put everyone into the same boat this year. There's two ways that you can move forward. Either you can sell yourself up or you can earn yourself up. Selling yourself up means bringing in more work. Earning yourself up means making more money off of the work that you have. This year, we're going to focus on selling yourself up. You can't change what's happened, but you can change next year. One basic tenet, however, is that nothing is going to change unless you change it. As Albert Einstein famously said, doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result is the definition of insanity. We don't deal with insane clients. We deal with clients and small business owners who want to move forward and usually are not even given a choice. They must move forward. So over the holidays, we're going to move forward. And here is your challenge. What would you have to do to double your sales next year? Double your sales next year. What would you have to do to double your sales? In looking at this, first let's determine what it means to double your sales. If you're doing 1 million or 10 million, it doesn't really matter. There's two ways to look at doubling your sales. You could either say, okay, we want to go from one to 2 million or 10 million to 20 million. Or we could look at it on a monthly basis and, have, and put together a progression that says by the end of the year, our monthly sales are going to double. You can look at it either way you want, but I want you to visualize one of those two things. What does it mean to double your sales? Write that down and then commit to submitting ideas for how you could accomplish that. What sort of things would have to you would you have to do not happen around you? What sort of things would your company have to do to double your sales? Now, most people's response is, oh, well, that's really just not possible. We couldn't do that. Well, you know what? You say that and you're right. I want you to think big. I want you to get out of the box. If you think small, you're going to stay small. If you think big, you might not get all the way there, but you're going to get bigger. So even if it, you don't think it's accomplishable, what, what is it that uh, you would have to do to double those sales? After you've laid out how you could do it, then we'll create an action plan to cover all of the things that would need to be done to accomplish this end. What would it take for you to double your sales revenue? And then, okay, what would we have to do? What would we have to have in the way of equipment? What would we have to have in the way of cash flows? What would we have to have in the way of personnel? What would we have to have in the way of expertise? All of those different things on this theoretical vision of getting twice as big. And it is theoretical and that's okay. But what would it take for you to double the sales? And then what assets, what plans, what uh, uh, sort of things would take to accomplish that? Okay, so it's too big a goal. So what? When you work with a success partner from the Fremont Groom, group, we would then go through these different ideas and those different directions. 
and spend time picking and choosing which parts of the plan really are possible and implementable. What sort of things could be done to accomplish those things? How would we lay those out? How would we incentivize our people to accomplish that? How could we hold them accountable for various results? How would we monitor our budgets and our progress? How, what sort of uh, communications plan and asset purchase plan and so on? What sort of things would we have to have and by when uh, to that are are accomplishable that are going to get you closer and closer to this goal. It's a stretch. Okay, we've stretched. So we'll stretch out, we'll lay out what has to be done for it, and then we'll cut back and we'll pick out the things that will really work so we can take you to where you really should be coming out of 2020. 2020 has been a terrible year for most cases. Some people actually did very well, but in most cases it was a hard hit. There were certainly a lot of distractions. So now we're going to go into 2021 and you're going to change your company. Remember, you must change. If you don't change, you try to stay the same, everything else changes and you fall behind. Remember, you must grow. If you don't grow, you're not giving opportunities to your better employees and you will lose your climbers. All of those things are required. We need to change your mindset now and think big. So give us a call, 303-338-9300. Talk with a success partner. We will do a self-evaluation. We'll, we'll look at the different strengths and weaknesses that you currently have, and we'll put together an action plan and then hold you accountable to it. Give us a call. It might be the best thing you ever did. In the meantime, happy holidays, 303-338-9300. My name is Dirk Dieters. I am the executive director and also the author of Minding My Own Business. We hope you will visit our website at tfginfo.org. And uh, also uh, uh, give us a call and work with professionals and work with people that can take you to that next level.